that's not to say we can't fit them within shielded machines. Uh, and the, the uh, ACT machine was an effort to, to create a shielded machine that had room for effective drills, uh, and the drills could collar close to the front. What is the best way to baseline probe drilling and pre-grouting requirements on a project? Want to comment, Sandra? Or, uh, um, what is the question? Uh, once more. What is the best way to baseline probe drilling and pre-grouting requirements on a project? Baselining means you have a lot of data available, uh, generally. Uh, if, if, uh, if they baseline the geological conditions, they have a very good uh, geological investigation. Generally, they could say, we, we, we know from investigation the rock, uh, of course, no one knows for sure, but they have a thorough investigation and, and can be fairly certain they know what the, gro the ground conditions are going to be. Uh, if they're going to baseline the probe drilling and grouting requirement, again, it means that a very thorough geological investigation is needed. Um, and with reasonable certainty, you know what's out there, and you can, you can design the, the, the drilling and grouting requirements accordingly. How much of the information presented today applies to mixed ground and soft ground? Could probing be done on an EPD? What we described today was generally percussive drilling in rock. Uh, probing can be done in an EPD. Uh, it generally needs a different type of drill. Uh, it's a drill that, uh, as I know, it chucks onto the, the drill pipe. You're drilling with a, with a casing. Uh, so it's a, a different type of setup, and of course, uh, if it's a pressurized base machine, you've got to go through a packer uh, with the drill port. Uh, it can be done for reconnaissance or, or for grouting off uh, in critical areas. And in theory, uh, an EPD machine should be able to control settlement and, and mine perfectly in very critical areas. It could be a good uh, investment to also do grouting, consolidation. Uh, and it, it could, if you, if you pre-consolidate with grouting, it could be to create a safe haven if you need to go and work on the cutterhead in a, in a bad area of, uh, where, the, where the ground is otherwise bad. And I think this is our last question today. In the next five years, do you think we will see more TBM pro projects using probe drilling and pre-grouting? Well, I think so. There's, there's a cost associated with that. We try to make it more economical and more effective. Uh, but as in all walks of life now, people seem to want to reduce risk. Uh, and good, good probing and good pre-consolidation pre where it's necessary is a way to reduce the risk. And, and uh, I think that will become a factor in a lot of jobs. We can see there's, uh, that there's uh, many uh, projects coming up in, in uh, intensive areas where it's in the test. Uh, and it, as I said, it says it's very important to control the risk of something we see in all aspects of tooling. And so, um, I said it does. Yeah. And, uh, particularly, uh, Sindra know these jobs very well, particularly in Scandinavia. They're very strict about uh, free treatment of the ground for controlling the groundwater. Uh, environmental reasons and also uh, I think in the, in the long-term cost of the tunnel, it's a good investment. They don't have to uh, pay for pumping the water out, any seepage water. Uh, another way is to install lining, but waterproof or, or drain drains in the, in the lining. But then you're faced with the long-term cost of pumping the water out, maintaining pumping system, and so forth. So uh, 
in a lot of places, uh, they recognize the cost, but it's recognized as a good long-term investment. Okay, and I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.